I saw a headline the other day, and it read, <clears throat> Texas man robs a bank the day before his wedding to pay for the ring and the wedding. And his wife convinces him to turn himself in. You know how fucking annoying this bitch must be for you to be like, yo, you know what, you know what it is? He was like, yo, okay, one of two things. I'm either going to get away with this. I'm either going to get away with robbing this bank and then I'll be able to pay for this fucking bullshit ass wedding that she wanted and this dumb ass $20,000, whatever the fuck, this crazy ass ring that she wanted that she won't shut the fuck up about. Or, or, I'm going to get caught, I'm going to go to jail, and I'll never have to listen to this bitch again. Either way, because, I mean, if I try to leave this bitch, she's going to kill me. So, uh, it's one or the other. She going to, this is either going to succeed, and she'll get off my fucking case about some shit for a while, or I can get the fuck away from her. Please. And I'll gladly take the latter. And then she was apparently, like, convinced him to turn himself in. Uh, and then, yeah, and then he went to jail, bro. What the fuck? You, obviously, you robbed a bank. You can't do that shit. Dude, this ain't the movies. You can't just walk up. You ain't part of Ocean's Eleven, okay? You ain't Mark Wahlberg in the Italian job. This shit don't work, okay? Are you fucking, are you one of the Fast and Furious cast members? Are you pulling bank vaults with your Dodge Charger through the streets of Rio? No? Of course you're not, because this shit ain't a movie. Michael Bay ain't directing your life, okay? You're going to jail. What were you thinking, man? Uh, that's insane. <laughs> he said, how expensive was this wedding for you to... You know what's wild? I heard about bitches that will pull loans from the bank in order to pay for their wedding. That's insane. Uh, hold on, I'm sorry. That's insane because now you just got now now you in debt. You you paying for a wedding with money you ain't even got. So that's 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 number one already retarded move number one. And then on top of that, you going into debt. You purposely going into debt. How much money uh, is a bank willing to give you for a wedding? What's the max amount, yo? Is a bank gonna give you 20K for a wedding? Is a bank gonna, I mean, they'll give you, a bank is willing to give you, I mean, depending on your credit, I guess, because they're willing to give you hundreds of thousands of dollars for a house as long as you put a down payment that's good enough for them. Like, you can put a 20, you can put two grand down as a down payment and they'll give you like, I don't know, 50 grand for a car, some shit. How much are they gonna give you for a wedding? You're like, yo, I'm gonna put, and the wedding is less than a car, hopefully. I don't know. I heard weddings are like 15 grand uh, per wedding or some shit like that, right? Is that average? I don't know, I've never been married. Is 15 grand a lot for a wedding? You got, I mean, depending on how many people you invite, you gotta buy dinner for at least a hundred people, I guess, depending on who you invite. Whether you have a is a hundred people a lot for a wedding? I don't know. I feel like I would want six people at my wedding. I feel like I don't want a wedding. <laughs> I don't want a wedding that costs me more than yo. If Trump is only spending five hundred dollars on the Clemson football team to buy them Chick Fil A or whatever, I don't want to pay fifteen thousand for a wedding. All right. The president of the United States is balling on a budget so he can buy these motherfuckers that just won the national championship last year a fucking meal. One meal. Dinner. Chick-fil-A. $600 tops. I mean, come on. You think I got... you? He, that dude, the dude who's a playboy... Self-proclaimed playboy billionaire is spending $700 for the entire Clemson organization football team for winning the national championship. 
okay? That's at least 52 players. Coaches is another at least 10 to 15 coaches. Uh, I don't know who else they get to invite. Just Does the fucking water boy get to come? Do the cheerleaders get to come? Do the fucking... Does the marching band get to come? Do the... <clears throat> trainers get to come along with that program? Say they all do, okay? Say they all get to come. It's probably not. I guarantee it's probably just the players, maybe the coach. One dinner, $750. Okay? That's the President of the United States. You think I want to spend 15 grand on a wedding? Are you insane, bitch? Are you fucking insane? Do you want a honeymoon? Apparently not. Because cause if we spending 15 grand on the wedding, how much money you think I got for this for this goddamn honeymoon? Do you want to go to Fiji and have a wedding at the fucking... Do you want to ball out at the, at the honeymoon or do you want to ball out in front of these fake ass people that you ain't really even friends with? Who you invite to the... Yo, straight up, who are people inviting to this wedding? When people got a wedding uh, invitation list... Of like 150 people. Yo, I can't even name you. 15 people I want at my wedding. How are you coming up with 150? Who are you inviting? Are you inviting people from high school that you don't even talk to no more? Who are you, who are you inviting? Who are you possibly inviting to this wedding? Outside of the people that you want in your immediate wedding party. Who are you inviting? Do you really want them, like, I don't know, I've never understood weddings, though. I mean, like, if you, and also, like, a w weddings back in the day, I mean, it's a weird thing, right? Weddings back in the day, the father of the bride would pay for the wedding, and along with that, you, he would, he would give you his, wasn't like, wasn't it a trade he would pay for the wedding or whatever, but wasn't like you gave him land and for his daughter or some shit, or did he give you land in order for you to spread your seed with his daughter to keep the family going? I don't remember which way it went, but it went one of those ways. Eh, hey, the dumbest shit ever someone's ever said. Hey, it's either this or it's that. No shit. When you flip a coin, it's either going to be heads or it's tails. Hey, no, no shit, huh? For real? Um, and then f from there, we devolved that whole process into now I marry some bitch and I got to pay for this fucking wedding and I got to pay for dinner for 150 people and then pay for the photographers, pay for the venue, pay for the fucking florists or whoever are going to come through, set this bitch up. Uh, I gotta pay to watch all these people that I don't even interact with on my daily life come in and eat all this food that I just bought and then maybe they'll buy me something from the registry that I signed up on maybe they will maybe they won't I gotta buy these motherfuckers suits come on son get the fuck out of here bring your own suit I don't give a fuck what color it is we ain't got a match what do you think this is we're not a fucking team okay y'all showing up uh, you ever seen a wedding when nobody wearing the same color suits? All the bitches got different dresses on. They're not even the same style and different colors. They're literally completely different dresses. Some bitch come in a Hawaiian dress. Some bitch come... Another bitch shows up in a wedding dress to your wedding. Like, the fuck is this bitch? Wore her own wedding dress to my wedding? <laughs> uh, that would be the best. That would be a wedding that I would want to partake in. That's a cool idea. Have all the bitches wear white wedding dresses and then you guys can all play a game of who's getting married today. Who getting married today. Uh, yeah, that's insane. He went and tried to rob a bank for this bitch just to be able to like, yo, this bitch's budget is out of control. How am I going to pay for this shit? Clearly, there's only one option, guys. I got to go rob a bank. I got to go rob a bank. Who want to be my wheel man? And nobody raised their hand. He's like, fuck, I gotta be my own wheel, man. He, pull, he pulls up in front of the bank, leaves his car running with the keys in it. Everybody on the fucking ground! 
shows up with a water gun. He's like, fuck, okay, first of all, now I need to go get a gun. I gotta get a gun, and then I can go rob a bank. Fuck, who got a gun? Do I know anybody that got a gun? Where are all these fucking school shooters getting their guns from? Let me go steal one of their guns. Because they plainly, apparently they got all the guns. These fucking elementary school shootings that keep happening, they got, those motherfuckers got all the guns. Okay? How do I find those guns? Um... What a horrible plan. And he was going to go in. Did he even get... I didn't read the article. I saw the headline and I was like, that's enough for me. Did he actually get the money? Because like, I remember back in the day, you could do something as simple as write on a piece of paper. Yo, I'm robbing this bank. Don't say nothing or I'll fucking kill you. Put the money in a bag and give it to me. And slide that piece of paper over to the, uh, to the teller. And then see what the fuck happened from there. And then they press a silent alarm or some shit. Uh, and then, so this motherfucker's like, yo, I, I gotta rob a bank, I don't have a gun. Ah, he was in Texas, he probably had a gun, let's be real, that motherfucker got a gun. He's like, yo, I got a machete, okay, I walk in this bank with a machete, they know what the fuck is up, I can't really conceal a machete as well as a Glock 9, so, that's wild. The, the links that this dude is going to just to satisfy just to satisfy this bitch that he's marrying. Um, 